dans le monde qui se construit la globalisation, euh, il me paraît très très important de tâcher, tâcher de réunir, de, qu'on se réunisse avec toutes les forces euh, qui représentent quelque chose de spirituel et de recherche de l'absolu. The power to discern, the power to be able to actually see clearly. We look through many different filters, many different lenses. To what extent am I actually seeing reality? Don't know. I started off uh, with the meditation because uh, I was having a lot of peacelessness in my home, in my office, and even with my friends. Goodness is absolute freedom because I have noticed that when I become negative or bad, there is definitely a lock in here. And I feel goodness being our true nature. The minute I feel I'm good, whatever that definition may be, I feel free. I truly feel free. And loving becomes my nature. We are running uh, five or six, six of these big systems all over India in various of our ashrams. And we're cooking approximately 30, 40,000 meals per day based on this solar steam cooking systems. Human beings, they have common sense. What is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is bad, what is sin, what is charity. They don't use that common sense. Spirituality is common sense. Spirituality is in actual fact common sense. Nous connaissons le monde des étudiants, le monde des travailleurs, le monde des paysans, le monde des réfugiés, le monde des pauvres, le monde des intellectuels, mais vous ne connaissez pas le monde des enfants. We now have around 8,000 centers in 104 countries with about 800,000 people who follow these ideas of meditation and spiritual teachings continually on a regular basis in their life. We are spending so much on curing diseases, but if we spend even half of that on preventing diseases and promotion of healthcare, we can do wonders. The more we see the beauty, the more we love. And the more we love, the more we see the beauty.